Good morning and welcome to Morning Gospel Fuel with Mr. G. It is Saturday, June 18th, the 11th week of Ordinary Time, and the feast day of St. Gregorio Barba, Barbarigo. Barbarigo? Barbarigo. That would be better. Um, it's kind of fun to say, really. Gregorio Barbarigo. Uh, but he was around in the 1600s. He was an Italian Roman Catholic cardinal. So he's a bishop who was uh, moved to a, moved, given given the title of cardinal, meaning he was eligible to be elected pope. Never became pope, of course, but um, he served as the bishop of Bergamo and later as the bishop of Padua, both cities in Italy. Um, and even though he wasn't pope, he did have a major influence on Pope John the Twenty Third. Um, who canonized him as a saint in 1960, um, as Pope John XXIII considered Bar Barbarigo as a great role model, and he fostered a, a deep devotion to him, um, since John himself hailed from Bergamo. So that is Saint Gregorio Barbarigo, and he is the patron saint of both of those dioceses, the Diocese of Bergamo and the Diocese of Padua. Today's gospel is from Matthew chapter 6, verses 24 through 34. Let's begin in the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. No one can serve two masters. He will either hate one and love the other, or be devoted to one and despise the other. He cannot serve God and mammon. Therefore, I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will, what you will eat or drink, or about your body, what you will wear. Is not life more than food and the body more than clothing? Look at the birds in the sky. They do not sow or reap. They gather nothing into barns, yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not more important than they? Can any of you, by worrying, add a single moment to your lifespan? Why are you anxious about clothes? Learn from the way the wild flowers grow. They do not work or spin. But I tell you, that not even Solomon in all his splendor was clothed like one of them. If God so clothes the grass of the field, which grows today and is thrown into the oven tomorrow, will he not much more provide for you, O oh, you of little faith? So do not worry and say, what are we to eat, or what are we to drink, or what are we to wear? All these things the pagans seek. Your heavenly Father knows that you need them all, knows that you need them all. But seek first the kingdom of God and the righteousness, and all these things will be given you besides. Do not worry about tomorrow. Tomorrow will take care of itself. Sufficient for a day is its own evil. Huh. I definitely needed to hear that one. Um, you know, he wants to make sure that if, if our main goal is towards money, for money in itself and for riches, earthly riches and wealth, it's not good. Um, not saying money is bad, but we've got to make sure that we are serving God first and foremost. But then everything else will work out work out for itself. Um, you know, and he gave a great analogy with looking at the birds and looking at the flowers. You know, why do we worry? Oh, you of little faith. This is me speaking to myself. So what is it that you are worried about today? Because it's common. It's in our human nature. But what is it that we are worried about that we need to take to the Lord to grow in faith, to grow in trust, to grow in hope, so that we rely fully on Him and no one or nothing else? So what is it that you need to bring to the Lord so that we can stop worrying, especially about tomorrow, because tomorrow will take care of itself. This might be a good scripture verse to read every single day. So, have a great day. God bless. Keep it real. In the name of the Father, Son, and Spirit. Amen.